I am a thriftaholic. These are the confessions of a thriftaholic. Dependencies and withdrawal. So if you want to hear my confessions and how I'm going through or went through dependent and withdrawal, then please stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I know some of you are coming off of the quarantine, so I hope you're, you're being safe out there. I want to talk to you about confessions of a thrifter. Yes, the confessions of a thrifter, withdrawal and dependencies, or dependence and withdrawal. I am still shut in here. We're in Connecticut, so we are still under a stay-at-home order. Um, you can go out for essential things. and But I'm noticing some of my friends on YouTube are already out there. They've been thrifting. They've been uh, to the Dollar Tree. They've been going places. And I haven't been out since March 9th. This is May 8th, the day, oh no, today is May, May 9th. Okay, so two months. So I haven't been thrifting. But I gotta tell you, it's not been easy. It has not been easy. <sighs> I have to take a deep breath because I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm doing better now. But I have to tell you, it was hard. It was really, really hard. Um, I'm used to going thrifting like at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. And sometimes I'm thrifting for myself. Sometimes I'm thrifting for, for resale. Um, or sometimes I'm just there just because I love just to be in that kind of environment. But I must confess that it has been really, really hard um, when you're so dependent on just being in a thrift store. And, and I don't know about you, but we get such, I get such a, um, get such a rush when I, when I know I'm going to go to the thrift store um, and then getting there and you're there and you get um, you get excited about being there and you just hope that you're going to find something. And sometimes you know you're not going to find something, but it's just a thrill of being in that environment, just touching things. And I realize, yeah, yeah, I'm dependent on that, um, on that thrill and just to looking for that next big find. Um, it is, it is such a rush. It's such a rush. Um, just going through the store and just touching things and, you know, going through the things. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm getting chills. I'm serious. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. And as I sit here, and I, I see on, on, on YouTube that some of my fellow creators and thrifters have already gone out shopping. Um, I'm just waiting for my chance to go out. But yeah, I realize I, I am dependent on thrifting. So... Um, you know, I don't know um, if that's a bad thing or not. Uh, I guess if you're bringing stuff into your home um, and you're constantly going out or you're spending your last dime going out and continuing to bring bring things into your home that you really don't need or you, no one really needs, but you just have to have it because you're you're dependent, then that could be that could be a bad thing. Um, you know, I think where does, 
uh, thrifting and bringing stuff in the home and and hoarding begin I don't think I haven't gotten to that point um, I don't just pick up stuff on the regular I have to say that but you know I'm sure I've picked up stuff that I really second after second thought you like did I really need that but yeah I have to say I am dependent on thrifting I am dependent on thrifting I enjoy it and yes uh, I think I did kind of go through uh, a withdrawal of, of sorts um, since I've been home and I haven't been able to go thrifting um, you know did I get the shakes um, you know, did I start sweating? Did I get sweaty palms? Did, was I pulling up my hair? Uh, gritting my teeth, going to the door and just looking out. Um, no, I don't think I did all of that, but yeah, I, I think I kind of did go through some kind of a withdrawal, um, from not being able to, to go thrifting. Now, I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to be uh, come out of this eventually here. I'm in Connecticut, so I know eventually we're going to come out of this um, stay-at-home order. And eventually I'll get back to thrifting. And I'm wondering now, you know, how am I going to thrift? Am I going to, I guess, be more, more and more cautious? <sighs> Wear a mask? Um... I don't know. It's gonna. It's really gonna look different for me up here because unlike a lot of states out west um, or in the Midwest, uh, those of us here in the Northeast, we experienced. You know, we experienced. Um, uh, it was traumatic. I mean, a lot of devastation up here. I'm in Connecticut. We're right next to New York, so. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be different when we if we ever go back to thrifting. I don't know what it's going to be like for me to go into the store for the first time. I don't know because I haven't been out yet. I haven't been out in two months, you know, walking around the corner and all of that, but not really doing any thrifting or, or going into any stores for that matter in over two months. So and thrifting is very personal. It's it's up front. It's up close and personal when you thrift. I mean, for me, I have to touch everything. I have to touch things, um, objects. I want to pick up a picture. I want to pick up a vase. I want to touch a sweater or a coat. Um, you know, I have to look at things. I want to touch um, things when I'm at a thrift store. And now I'm thinking, oh God, how am I going to touch how am I going to touch things? Like, I guess, I guess I'll have to wear gloves. I'll have to be masked up. Will I have to cover my hair? What? It, it take, it's going to take on a whole new, whole new, uh, meaning now to thrift and bring that stuff into your house. Oh God. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is the confession of a thrifter. I, I think I, I definitely was dependent no, I didn't go out to other sites like some of my fellow thrifters did. They went to online sites and thrifted on online sites, other sites, just to, um, um, you know, get thrifted goods and I guess resell them. No, I didn't do that. Um, but, you know, their situation may have been a little different. If you're a full-time reseller, and thrifting, you make your living from thrifting, then you have to get your inventory from somewhere. So I did see folks going on um, other sites and thrifting on other sites to resell. I didn't do any of that because I, you know, I'm a part-time uh, reseller. And for the most part, I was thrifting for personal reasons. Um, I did, it's funny because I started looking in my, in my inventory of things that I had set aside to resell and I felt like I was going in through those things and thrifting through those things. As a matter of fact, this top 
was supposed to be a top that I was supposed to resell. And I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. Ah. I'm actually wearing it. Yeah, I'm wearing it. And I and there's another uh, matching top to this that's uh, like a, I don't know, mauve color. I think I'm just going to keep that. And I saw a pair of walking shoes that's in my stash that I have listed on Poshmark that I may take out. I've been eyeing those since, you know, been doing walking around the, um, the neighborhood. Um, so I may take those out of my stash and I may just uh, wear those too. So, um, I have my thrift. I'm thrifting in my own thrift pile. Um, of stuff, stuff that um, I'm starting to give a second look to right now. But I, yeah, I realized I was dependent and I realized that, yep, I kind of went through some kind of withdrawal and better now. Um, but uh, yes, I want to get out there. And so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, uh I can empathize with anybody else who is um, feeling kind of anxious about not being able to uh, to go to go to the thrift. I certainly understand, and um, you know, if you're one of those, come out and confess. <laughs> come on out and confess that you are were dependent. And that you went through a withdrawal or maybe you haven't gone through a withdrawal maybe you were I don't know I don't know where you were going to thrift um, if you were maybe you were doing your stuff on um, online on other thrift uh, sites like thread up and uh, buying stuff from Poshmark yourself to resell on Poshmark so you were getting your thrift on that way uh, I just kind of sat back and decided that, you know, I wasn't going to do that. So I just kind of rode the wave. And now, you know, I think the curve for my thrift withdrawal, I think I'm on the downside of it now. And um, so we'll see the curve flattens and things start to open up. And then I get my nerve back to go out there again. And, um, you know, it's not anything I don't want to get over being a thrift, a thriftaholic. Um, but, you know, uh, I do, I did just want to share this with you that, yeah, I am a thriftaholic. And it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I hope you enjoy this, guys. I hope you enjoy this. And um, it'll be over soon. And we'll all get out there. And we'll be safe. And we'll get back to some kind of normal. Hopefully. If you're new here, I talk about thrifting and upcycling thrifted goods and home decor. So if you like that kind of content, by all means... Subscribe and join the family. And for my returning friends, thank you so, so much.